Ireland is like. Well, it was something, it's been a great life anyway. We've had, we had a long, a long history and I've accomplished a lot of, a lot of things. I'm surprised I, I, I've done as much, more than most of uh, anybody I know, you know. Yeah. I've, uh, I can't remember my, my age of uh, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I went to a college in Canada and, and went in the CC camps and and drove trucks. I was 22. I was going to join the Navy the next day after Pearl Harbor. But I waited for the next year. So I was in the Navy, did well in the Navy. I was a radio man, radar, petty officer second class. Came home, went to work for Sears. Started working twenty-eight dollars a week, mm. and then mm. I got up to 30, 30, 36, 34, 32, 36. Yeah, and then I was in the uh, in the uh, service department, and I, I got uh, mileage, or so I would, and I got up to forty bucks a week working for Sears. Then I went to the hospital, cured my TV. <coughs> I went uh, and I started uh, repairing TVs and selling TVs that I would buy from another dealer until uh, the, 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 the distributor found out that I was selling TVs. They come over and sold me TVs. So I got uh, Motorola, and I was selling Motorola TVs, and I, I moved my uh, studio operation, teaching, in the house, and so I laid some guitars on the wall, there on the wall. And uh, that's when I moved you into the back room. <laughs> my dad came over to help me finish that back room. We made a... Uh, a good door in that uh, uh, pantry that was in the back, to, uh, so you could go into the bedroom. I love that room. Go out to the, the hallway. Yeah. Used to keep my comic books where the pantry used to be. Yeah. So go. Uh, I've, had, I've had a long life. I've had. You know, my share. So, so go back to the day I was conceived. Where well, were? I was on a thirty-day leave. I think it was. Uh, I had been assigned to a ship, uh, LSC one thirty-three, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, we was in New York. And while I was in New York. Yeah, your mother came in, uh, lived with me for a week or two while we was in New York getting the, in, 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 uh, in Brooklyn there. We was getting the ship ready for tra traveling. That must have been the month of September. And, uh... Is that Brooklyn or Brooklyn? Brooklyn, yeah. Brooklyn. Bro Brooklyn, yeah, okay. And then we went to Boston. And uh, yeah, I, I got an overnight pass. I got a weekend pass in Boston, I think it was. Let's see, uh, we, day back uh, July. See, that's seven, eight, nine. So that must have been in November. Yeah, that was a little, uh, Yeah, before we went to uh, England. So you was going to see he was, before I went overseas, because your mother w mm -hmm. wanted a souvenir of, of me. She, so I worked hard on, uh, on, uh, on giving her what she wanted. <laughs> of course, you were married by then. Oh, yeah, I've been married, uh, I've been married for over a year. Yeah. I got married uh, two years. Got married in 42, then, then, then 
ship hit with the uh, with the mines was that after I was born oh yeah yeah you you was uh it was a month old I guess it was on July 15 what you, you was born in uh July 21st there I guess you were uh, no you weren't born no I hadn't been born yet no, because you see, the, the, the D Day was June 4, 4. Then we made three trips and we hit that mine on June 15th on the way into back to uh, France on our third trip in. So we had made uh, two, uh, 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 two landings. And then when we were coming in with our third landing, when we got hit, then I went to, uh, the ship was towed into England, then I got off the ship, and I, I did truck driving, I was driving trucks all over England for the month of June, and the month of July, August, and came back home in September. So I said, you were two months old when I got to see you the first time. Wow. Interesting. I, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yeah, because I was in England uh, driving trucks there for uh, two, three months. Uh, 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 July and August. Then when I Glasgow, uh, Scotland, picked up their Queen Mary. And... Uh, we, we was on uh, stages, the bunks we were on stages, it was three, four stages of bunks. We was just 18 inches between bunks. Mm. And we uh, we were uh, hot, because mm. uh, we were in a Gulf Stream. Mm. Then we got close to Iceland, and it got colder than hell. Mm. And we went back, and we were trying to keep away from the U-boats. Uh, oh, yeah. So we was, uh, then we came down uh, by Greenland, came down the Greenland, then I came down into Boston, and I don't know if I got the 30-day leave from Boston or from New York. I don't recall, remember, but uh, it was in the month of September or October, let's see. July, it was June, July, August, September. Why it might have been November. Of 1944? 1944, yeah. Was the, war, was the war over yet? Huh? Was the war over yet? No, 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 the war was still on. No, the war didn't get over until uh, 1945. Uh, Germany uh, uh, gave up in the spring of 45, but then uh, we were still ba battling the uh, Japanese in the Pacific. When I went to uh, Hawaii, I went to, through the Panama Canal. I was on the 881 ship that went up before that. I, I was, uh, 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 yeah, I was assigned to another ship, LSC 881. We picked that one up, and uh, see, I was in Chicago, and uh, we picked that up in Evansville, Indiana, came down the Mississippi, New Orleans, that's where I had uh, <clears throat> uh, oyster on a half shell in New Orleans. Delicious. Huh? 
Delicious. Well, what'd you say? She said delicious. Oh, yeah. Mm. And then we went down, uh, down by Mexico and uh, down by the islands. And we came into the Panama Canal in uh, Coulon. And then we got a, a leave over there for, where we stayed in Coulon for a day or two until we had to take a turn to go through the marks. And, uh, and I found, I saw a group that was singing beautiful harmony. I was in love with that music, uh, the, with those kids that were singing. They were beautiful son music. And so uh, then we went, uh, we went through the marks. We went into the, the lake there. See, we have to climb up about eight, ten feet of water or more, yeah. Because the Pacific is higher than the Atlantic. So we had to go through the locks and climb up higher so we'd be able to go through the lake. Then from the lake, we went out through the rest of the river to uh, uh, Panama City there. Yeah, I think so. My mind is not as clear today Dad, as it was before. I must be tired. So anyway, we uh, we uh, when we hit the Pacific, the Pacific, we uh, we uh, I know why they call it the Pacific. It's so calm, so cool. Uh, uh, the waves were just small, small waves, and uh, uh, it was so peaceful. That's why they call it the Pacific Ocean. So we went up the, 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 uh, the west coast of Mexico or the, the, the South America, uh, the Central America, all those uh, countries and Mexico. And we, got, uh, we went up to San Diego. And wow. uh, we, stayed, we stayed in San Diego for one or two nights, I guess. And then we took off from Hawaii, and it took us about a week or so to get to Hawaii. And we were staying in Hawaii doing a lot of work. Uh, and that's when I coughed up blood, and they uh, transferred me. I was the first master on board ship. I was getting extra 30 bucks for that. I was the first one to get off the ship to go get the mail and bring the mail out. I, they treated me like a king. Huh. And, uh, uh, they knew I, well, I had the experience, you know. I, I had been through. Uh, 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 I've been through the war you know, on, on the east coast, mm. and uh, and my communication officer they depended on me. I, I was a third class petty officer, and the, the rest of the radio men were just seamen. They weren't. Uh, and one seaman, uh, Robinson, he was my escort. He followed me. He was my tail. I went on a wave or something like that. He followed me around, and I, he was uh, trying to rub uh, some of my, uh, uh, to rub on him. And uh, I made second class, and he made third class. And uh, I, I was up for second class. Uh, I was up for first class, and I told him I can't answer all those questions. He says, well, do what you can, and I'll do the rest. But that's, uh, that was just a week or two before I coughed up blood, and I never followed through. Yeah. So I went from that state there for a while, and then they took me up to uh, California, up to San Francisco and Oakland, and I was there for nine months. And then I got discharged on November 5th, 4th or 5th, yeah. And I went to, I decided all the way up in California through Oregon and Washington State. Then I took a train and we got stuck in a snowstorm for two days there in the snowstorm. And I finally got to, um, I got to Chicago, 
and went up to, because uh, I was going to go up and see the folks on one of my uh, radio men that got killed. Uh, and so I, uh, uh, I went over there and, and they kept me there for two, three days. They wanted me to stay with them. Now that all happened after you had come home to see me when I was two months old. Oh yeah. And then gone back. Yeah. Then. Well, uh, well uh, yeah, I had a ninety-day leave uh, uh, when I got back after after the invasion. Right. So let's see. Uh, that was in. That must have been in October. So you must have been, what, July, August, uh, August, September, October, probably two or three months. Huh. And then I, uh, I spent 30 days. I don't remember where or when or what much. I don't, I don't recall that much about that. But uh, when I got discharged, I came home, went to uh, see my mother, visited with her. Then I went back to Keene, rented an apartment there on Wilford Street, and we lived over there for one or two months. In December and January, that's where the pictures were taken of you when you were a baby. Right. And uh, that was on Wilford Street. And then in February, I. I bought that house, and we moved in that house on uh, 69 Armory Street. Right. Uh, did I, did I uh, live somewhere else in between? No, we went from, we went from, um, I, don't know, I was thinking before I, before I bought the property, I lived on, uh, yeah, I lived on, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in that uh, apartment in the back there. Right. That was on Wilson Street. Oh, uh, Wilford. Wilford Street, right. Not Wilson. Wilford. I think I spent a couple of nights before that, before I got that uh, apartment. I think I spent a couple of nights on an apartment there off Washington Street, uh, uh, near Streeters, yeah, somewhere in there. I think uh, I spent a couple nights. Yes, yes. And it didn't work out. Mom didn't like it or something. Yeah, and so we rented that uh, uh, apartment there on Wilford Street. I remember you telling me and about that. Two months. Stayed there for, uh, well, for the month of December. January, and I bought the house in February. February 5th, I think. So we spent two months on Wilford Street. Yep. And for that, we lived with the grandmother, Mailer, in Dublin. You know, for a night or two a week until I got found rent. Yep. I remember going to visit them in Jaffrey on that road that was... Oh, uh, yeah, that, yeah that, she, she, she was married to... Uh, Edgar Karen. Edgar, yeah. And uh, her daughter uh, lived right next door. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Was that Elaine? Yeah, Elaine and Joyce. Uh, her mother's 
<clears throat> right. They lived uh, one house further. They, uh, they were in a trailer. He had built a foundation and put the trailer on it so he could have the plumbing and everything underneath him. Oh, yeah, well, that was when they had the trailers down by the lake, but before that, they had a house up closer to the town. Oh, yeah, that's right, too, on the left there. We, we, we stayed over there uh, about a week or two. Uh, it was on the right, as you're going, yeah, you take a left. Right, and... Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And that it was full of uh, uh, worms or uh, uh, bugs, mm. and we got out of there. But uh, there was... Uh, I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it being a nice house. The one in Jaffrey. Well, that's where Edgar. Yeah, that was that long driveway that went up into the back side of the yard, and the tax shop was right across the field. What was that again? I said the. Uh, it was, you go right up to the center of Jaffrey, you take a left, like you're going down to where the, yeah. but. Oh, yeah, we lived in that, yeah, we lived in that house. With that, yeah, yeah. On the right-hand side, there was a house right there with a driveway that used to go up around the side, and there no, was. No, we didn't stay there long. No, that was, that was uh, Grandma Karen's house before yeah. she moved to the trailer. And that's what I remember when I was like two, three years old going there. Yeah, well, yeah, but you, uh, see, uh, in 1945, he was a year old. Uh, see, he was born in 44, so he was only yeah, a year and a half old when we moved in uh, Keene. Yeah. Well, I remember that house over in Jaffrey. I must have spent a lot of time there when I was small. Yeah, you were. That's when you you were reading your funny book. No, oh, no, I was I was too young to read comic books then. I, I, I probably yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, I was a baby was then. <laughs> yeah. This is back when I was two, three years old in Jaffrey. Get a drink, Dad. Get a drink, lots of water. You're supposed to be drinking water. <laughs>